So we don't have an error in our data block for the moment being, and if there was one, it would appear in that error section. I have already shown you how to find and fix them. And friends, this may happen sometimes, so you should know. Let's say that you have made an operation, and then deleted the data block. The operation is not deleted when you do that. It will reside in your PLC even if you delete the data block. You can't completely delete it because it is in your PLC, and if you overwrite it, the system may tell you to use some of these addresses. It will misguide you. In such an event, you need to restart your PLC in order to fix it. And that happened to me once or twice during the applications and trainings. I mean, you need to reset the information in the PLC in such an event. And that is the summarized point. So now I will move into the data section and I will go into the data section and then open the glasses. Now look, uh, I have seen the numerical value of 25,295 in my analog input. Now let's do something like this for it and let's see what it actually means by scaling it with a calculator. Now I remember that we have done this before. Now uh, let me show you. Now I can also scale this value in the PLC but we will use a calculator this time. The scaling will give me the actual value that I need. So let's do it. Uh, let's say 25,295 and then let's divide that into the value of 65,535. 35, which is the equivalent of 16 bits, and if I multiply the result by 10, the scaling will be done. I mean, uh, it is 3.85. So let's come here and look. The signal, which is around 85 or 86, is at the terminal of my device. Look, uh, let's change this. Uh, let's change the modify option into 1. Now the relay is activated as you have seen. So what happened? I have made operations through my PLC, and look. I haven't used the inputs or outputs of my PLC, but what did I do? I have used the TIA portal software in order to read the data in the device. I have activated a relay, but it wasn't the PLC's output who did that. Don't mistake it. We made that through the TIA portal software. So friends, the output of the PLC isn't activating the relay. Friends, the output of this device activates the relay normally, and let's go. Now, the data are connected to the device, but I activated the relay through my PLC. In summary, um, let me summarize this quickly. Now, what do we do first? First, we create data blocks for each data that we will write or read. So after taking those data blocks, we will look into their Modbus addresses. Then, we will look for the reading and writing addresses regarding how we will start those data blocks. Then, we will look into the data sheets of the device and the help menu of the PLC in order to see what is what and which addresses that we can use. It is a fairly simple task. You will have to look into the sheets and the help menu.